Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scan it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We could certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling... It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. Test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit, 
It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena, and the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20-year-old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing, but it's falling out of daily use. Now, what kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the Grand Libraries. Exactly. Languages may evolve, names may change, but time remains constant. It's an elegant system indeed. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. Thank you. 
I found it. It's located on the way shelf. Mao Cheng Si Wu Wei. Grover, it's here. If I remember correctly, Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Zhenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Zhenzhou's founding, and the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the Crownless. been easy after the lament, but I still remember that sweetness from my childhood. The battle against that epidemic in Jinzhou was grueling. Once infected, children either died or suffered lifelong disabilities, resonators or not. With tacit discords ravaging Jinzhou and severing all communication with others, words are not enough to convey how desperate people must have felt. They resorted to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they failed, we owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important to remember their sacrifices. If the sugar pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Is it related to your past? Or is it... A hero? Rover, about the sugar pearl. We have the symbol way now. This should go with the time part. But we can't yet solve the puzzle with this alone. Maybe we can figure out the cardinal direction part by looking into the tokens again. It might have something to do with how we got one of the clues. What do you think, Rover? Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the sugar pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me, and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... In other words, 
There are people who need to be misled, and they may obtain these tokens. It seems there may be hidden dangers lurking in Jinjo. Hmm. If it were you, Yang Yang, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Jang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chempy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. It's the middle of the night. Of course you're hungry. All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Time to hit the hay, obviously. Don't tell me you're planning on some nightly activities. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? I... I have a vacant guest room in my house. And if you don't mind coming over... Aren't you forgetting something, Yang Yang? Rover told us this morning that she has been offered to stay at the city hall. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow.
Ranger Donjing. Worry not. My Crimson Blade will not harm you as long as you haven't done anything bad. Opening greeting, foul spirits be gone, all safe and sound. Hmm? Where are you going? Count me in. for you we still have a long journey ahead of us let's press on enemies ahead I'm ready
Ah, good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Baijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance, and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Baijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. In case of an emergency, Rover, roll out. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mango steam, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madame Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? I just said the leaf bears the frequencies of tacit discords, so it must be from a tree near a tacit field. Then... We must leave the city to pursue this lead. That's the spirit. Been beating my brain up until now. It's time to get these joints cracking for a change. killing machine oh, please stop it you two it's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city my shift's coming up protect rover well and shoot me a message if you need anything all right yang yang without a doubt another way. another way. Rejuvenating snow. 
Administering first aid. You're wide open. Fear no more. Transmitting frequency.
stay calm. How reliable. You got me there. <clears throat> Victory, guide my blade. I should try to smile. Let's do this another way. Leave me alone. Burn! Inferno! Feel my wrath! I got your back. How oh, reliable. Is my ground. Huh. Let me be your blade. Huh. Synchronization. Hey. Hey. Huh. Let the winds roar. Fury boils. As you wish. Inferno! <sighs> Silence! <sighs> You're the match. Burn! Let's do this another way. <sighs> Let me be your blade. Storm! Hear that command! I got your back. Victory, guide my blade. How reliable. Fury boils. As you wish.
Transmitting frequency. Frost bloom. A change of perception. A change of perception. The defense at the city gate has been strengthened. Defense at the city gate has been strengthened. It wasn't like this when we came back. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. What is your business, young lady? It's my third shift, and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please, I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may, I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh...
Well, it says you have the highest level of access. So, no procedural issues here. Honestly, she could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass. And no one would question it. Sure. So, you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them... I grew up in my sect on a mountain, spent most of my time training with my masters. One day, I was told training in seclusion was not enough. I must engage with the world to further my skills. So I started my self-cultivating journey. I've been to various cities and gained valuable lessons, but there is still so much more to learn. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhang Ye's grandson is very likely in the Deserok Highland. Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course. Thank <laughs> you.